more than ever, that's like a hot topic because so much of the, I think the card is going towards working time, working a cow and everything. I think the, I think the, the, the overdraw, you know what I mean? Cow go. This one's ready. Um, I think the overdraw cow go is becoming more, it's going to become more and more of a thing that we don't want because you can't, you can't give a cow, you can't give a cow that opening and that delay so many times because if we're going to work a cow for a long time, you got to constantly be reminding that cow that there's no hole. And for me, working the flag a lot, you know, the number one thing all the people that I talk to, that I look up to, talk to me about is like, hey, get the, make sure those horses bail you out. They got to bail you out. So then you got to start thinking, how do I train a horse to bail me out? It's not about a horse helping you in the perfect situation. It's about a horse helping you in an undesirable situation because they're like... When you're walking circles there, what are you looking for? And what so, are you doing? Biggest thing is, again, going back to baseline, what we talked about is that, you know, I can't... If I go work this flag and I'm getting frustrated that this horse isn't between my feet or traveling relaxed or anything like that, I better make sure... I better make sure... I can do that without the flag. It's just simple stuff. But like right around here, you know, I'm just going and I'm just kind of making sure that this mare, you know, just at a walk, that she can kind of take my feet. You know, I'll kind of pick up my hands here and push feet on her, maybe a little bit of the snaffle bit stuff, right? You know, try to get, try to get this right here and this right here, try to get this to come up. You know, John Swales told me one time, he said, he said, Trav, he goes, see this little fold right here? Right here. You know, a lot of horses have, there's just a little bit of a fold there. He goes, I want from here to behind. I, I know, I know this mare can do more and I know I want more. See, she's drawn back here on her own. But today we're just gonna keep it basic. It's not a big deal. So right there, she kind of found that she kind of melted in there a little bit. Give her a second, remember all the things that we know about horsemanship that we get away from. You know, rest is reward, all the things, you know, relaxed horse, everything. But don't, don't, um, you know, don't think because you're working at this, just like this, you're gonna, you're gonna always work this horse. I think the mentality is always gonna be the same how you work a horse. But, you know, some days you might be like, okay, we're gonna do this. Introduce, introduce something. Like almost like working threes. Introduce them to something, work on it, then kind of package it, and then move on. It's like subjects in school. Get a baseline, you know, okay, we can add. Okay, now let's.